What's up, guys? Welcome back to New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Last time, we actually beat the game. We beat Peach's Castle. And now, we just have to do the post-game. And that would be... Yeah, this world, Superstar Road. Let's do it. Okay, Superstar Road. This is it. Let's do it. Okay, level one. Spine tingling spine poster. Okay, so here, we're gonna be dealing with this thing again. Okay, being really slow, but it's gonna go fast here. Okay, so now I'm gonna go here because I do have space for items. Oh, okay, I better be really careful here. Okay, two and three. It's still a two and three, I think. Yep. Nice. Okay, so here's the final con that this game has. The penguin and uh, the propeller are still here in this game. They are back. They are indeed back. However, they aren't in any of the levels. At least in terms of the original game, you can only get them from a toad house here in Superstar Road. At least here in the deluxe version, it's been revealed that there's another way to get the penguin, but... As for the propeller, I have no- I have no idea if there's another way to get it in the deluxe version. From what I've seen, the, the propeller is still- is still like that. You can only get it from a toad house here in Superstar Road. But yeah, in the deluxe version, I don't know if there's another way to get it. But yeah, that's uh, another thing that I definitely hate. Those power-ups- uh, 
They came back in this game, which I don't mind at all. I appreciate having them back, but I do not like that they were given this treatment. I really do not like it. I don't. I really don't. So yeah, that's the final con that this game has. Okay, so now with that out of, out of the way, we can actually continue. Level two, run for it. Go away, piranha plants. So, yep. This is what this level is. Not kidding, we actually have to run. scared me. <sighs> Thank god, this level has always scared me. Mario time! I'm just glad I didn't have that many problems this time. Okay, now level three, swim for your life. Okay, now this level can actually be a little tricky, and there's a certain reason for that. Gonna, gonna be dealing with the cheap chomp. And, uh, unfortunately, the cheap chunk will keep on coming back. So, yeah. And also, there's a bunch of other enemies as well. So, you need to be careful with all of them, too. To be completely honest, uh, the Fire Flower is kind of desperate for this level. Just keep on shooting fireballs. Uh, and kill all of the enemies. But my god, if you lose the Fire Flower, this is going to be a much bigger pain to put up with. Unfortunately, the cheap chunk keeps coming back really, really fast. So it's like you don't you don't really get much time to take a breather. Okay, come back up. They're gonna save it, though. Okay, now this is where things really get tricky, because now you have those guys as well. The ones that keep on swimming specifically towards you. Luckily, there's only a certain amount of them, and they don't come back. Okay. 
Okay, kill you again, now kill those two. But yeah, honestly, the best advice I can give is just be very cautious proceeding through this level. Okay, so now it's in Frosted Glacier again, but again, I'm gonna do that on my own time. Okay, Hammer Swing Caverns. Um, I think I do want to use the penguin a little bit for this. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. If, now, if I remember correctly, it's not even gonna be for much, though. Yeah, I shouldn't have even bothered. That was a complete waste. I only just decided to take it because of the... the theme of this level. A lot of ice. But, gonna need the flying squirrel for this. Switch for this. Oh, that was close. Actually, I did that just to achieve it. You know what? Not bothering with not bothering with it this time. It's a bit too tricky here. I don't really care about achieving this one either.
Oh yeah, Mario time! Okay, level five, spinning platforms of doom. Let's go. We've got these platforms all the time. Stay on the outside again. Whoa, that was close. Okay, now this is the end. This is probably the trickiest one to deal with. Um, the dogs are barking right now. If You shouldn't be hearing them, but if you are, I apologize. Okay, so this level... Actually, I think I do want that, now that I think about it. Uh, but yeah, this level... I wouldn't say it's as hard as level 3, but... You definitely still have to be super cautious. Yeah. Ah. 
escape. So now there's second star coin. This one is really tricky to get. And a question mark block over there, but I'm not bothering with that. I want a wall jump. There we go. No, it's gonna be stuck here for a bit. There we go. Any secrets? No. Let's go. Okay. This time I'm actually gonna use the B acorn for level seven. Lakitu, Lakitu, Lakitu. The reason why is because this can be a little tricky. I think I do want the cloud here. Okay, no. It's just those coins, but not not worth it. It's only the star coins that I need to go after. gonna do this. Okay, so now they are going away, which I really, really appreciate. And there we go. Now, I admit that was indeed pretty cheap, but... It's... Uh, Honestly, pretty tricky without it. Huh. 
And yeah, completing a level with the... The P acorn? It's gonna change to the normal flying squirrel once you finish it. Okay, so... Do I wanna... I'm gonna try it with this. If I... If it fails, I'm gonna use the propeller. Okay, level 8. Pendulum Castle. these spiky things to deal with. I'm assuming they're called pendulums, but I don't know for sure, though. With the name of the castle, I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. tricky to get through that section without getting hit. being really quiet, it's just... I'm scared. <laughs> okay, gonna wait for that again, and then quickly hit this. Would you look at that? The final course is now available. A fourth star has been added to your file. That's right, we're not done yet. There's an extra bonus level right here. Level 9, follow that shell.
Okay, so... I might be okay with the Flying Squirrel for this. Okay, let's do it. Shell to open this up. But now this is where we're gonna stick to that name. We're gonna be working with this shell. And we're gonna have to follow it all the way to the end. Okay, so now through there again, and a part of this is being patient because of how the shell works with bumping into things. Okay, so this is where I need to be careful. Damn it! I messed up. Okay, die. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I want to say that part is the trickiest. You need to hit it just at the right time. Okay, just put on the propeller, I guess. <laughs> just so I can at least have something on. So in case if I get hit, I'll still be okay. So yeah, press R to fly. Okay. Whoa, that was close. But yeah, the penguin and the propeller... I want to say the reason why they got the treatment that they did in this game is because there aren't really any levels that are well-designed specifically for them. Which is honestly a shame. Wait, what? Oh, wait, hold on. I can probably still get that, but it's risky. Okay. So this is what I'm gonna do. This is risky, though. Thank goodness. Obviously, it was intended to do it with the shell, but... I 
failed. Luckily, there was still another way for me to do it. You've collected all the star coins. Congratulations. <laughs> You've completely cleared story mode. Amazing. A fifth star has been added to your file. You can now enter the toad houses all you like. Nice. That's very nice. So now... Let me do a permanent save first. And... Go back to the main menu. There we go, guys. 100% completed. So because of that, uh, that's officially the end of this playthrough. And uh, automatically, that's uh, the end of this video. It's been lots of fun. And now it's done. Uh, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you'll be notified of new videos. And be sure to follow me everywhere else.